Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.35 from Sadiku book. So the question is rework problem 3.5 using mass analysis. So problem 3.5 asks us to obtain V0. Okay, but in the 3.5 we use nodal analysis but this time we are asked to use mass analysis. Okay, maybe let's start from making the loops here. Let's name this loop as I1. And let's name this loop here as I2. So we need to do KVL at I1. And then we need to do KVL at I2. So let's do exactly that. Let's start with using KVL at loop I1. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay. Now let's start from this 2 kilo ohm resistor. So I will have 2 multiplied by I1 here, the only current that passed through it. And then I will have this 30 volt voltage source and the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So I will have minus 30. And then plus this voltage source but this time the current flowing from the positive terminal to negative terminal so i'll have 20 and then i will have plus 5 multiplied by i1 but here i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so i'll have minus i2 good all of that will equal to zero maybe let's do some simplification here so i will have 2i1 minus 30 minus 20 will becomes minus 10 and then plus 5i1 minus 5i2 because we are distributing this 5 inside the brackets so i will have 0 here and 2 plus 5 is 7 so i'll have 7 i1 and then minus 5i2 that will equal to, let's move this minus 10 to the right hand side. So I will have 10 here. Let's save this as equation. Good. And now let's do another KVL, but this time at loop I2. KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltages in a loop will equal to 0. And let's start from this 5 kilo ohm resistor. So I'll have 5. But here I2 is flowing up. But then I1 is flowing down. So I'll have minus I1. Yeah. Good. And now let's move on to this voltage source. The current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So I will have minus Good. and then what else i will have 4 kilo ohm here and the only current that pass through it is i2 of that will equal to zero and now let's distribute this so i'll have 5 i2 minus 5 i1 and then minus 20 and then plus 4 that will equal to zero so I will have minus 5i1 and 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So I will have 9i1 then minus 20 is equal to 0. Or we can rewrite this as minus 5i1 and then plus 9i2. This is not i1, this is i2. 9i2 and that will equal to 20. Let's have this as equation number 2. So now we have two equations with two variables here and here. What we need to do is by solving 1 and 2. Solve 1 But we only need to find out I2. Why? Because we are asked about V0, right? So, maybe let's multiply the equation 1 by 5. So, I will have 35I1, right? 
and then we need to multiply equation 2 by 7. Good, now let's rewrite that. Equation number 1 multiplied by 5 is 35 I1, then minus 25 I2, and then that will equal to 50. Good. Now multiply this by 7, so I'll have minus 35i1, and then plus, this will be 63i2, then we will have 100. We can add them up here, so I will have plus, and this will equal to 190, 63 minus 25, what is it? 63 minus 25, 38. So I'll have 38. I2. So we will have I2. I think that will be 5. Is that so? So I will have 190 divided by 38. Yeah, I think it's 5. Okay, that is good. So I will have I2 is equal to 5. That's good. But we are asked about V0. So we will have obtain V0. How to do that? We can just use Ohm's law. So I have V0 is equal to the current here, which is I2 multiplied by the resistance here. So I will have 4 there. And let's plug that in. I will have 5 multiplied by 4. And that will be 20. And the unit here will be 4. Uh, this is wrong. The unit here is not ampere, but this is milliampere. Why? This is volt and kilo ohm. So our current will be in milliampere. Yeah. So finally, we get the V0 here, which is 20. And I think that's all for problem 3.35. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.